Your button layout in Warzone can significantly impact your performance in the game, and it's so important to get it right. Which is why I'm going to cover the best button layout for you, whether you have a paddled controller or just a standard one. If you have a controller with paddles on the back, where you can essentially assign one of the paddles to be a button, you can obviously press these paddles without having to lift your thumbs off the analog sticks. In Warzone, the main movement mechanics are just jumping and sliding, so you want your jump and prone buttons to be assigned to paddles on the back. It really is that simple, it doesn't matter which side they're assigned to or anything like that, you just need to get used to that setup. Because paddled controllers allow you to essentially have full range of movement without moving your thumbs around, it doesn't matter too much what your actual button layout is. Although most players do use tactical with these paddled controllers, just because that's what they're used to from previous Call of Duties. Now most players don't have paddled controllers, and just have the standard ones. This means we need to decide what movement mechanic is most important to us. Either we can prioritise jump shotting and bunny hopping, or we can focus on sliding and slide cancelling. The reason I say this is that we can assign the prone and sliding button to our right analogue, or we can assign jumping to the right analogue. Meaning whilst we're doing one of these important mechanics, we don't have to move our thumbs off the sticks and lose the ability to aim around whilst either jumping or sliding. I personally use stick and move, where the jump button is activated by clicking in the right analogue, then melee goes to my A button on Xbox and X button on PlayStation. This is a little hangover from the jetpack Call of Duty games that I used to play, so I'm just used to it now. Then I do my slide cancelling around in essentially a makeshift claw technique. For most players though, you'll probably prioritise the sliding mechanic, which is arguably the main movement technique that separates players. For this you want to use tactical, where the right analogue is now crouch, prone and slide. This also makes drop shotting much easier and intuitive. Now whichever setup you use, either stick and move or tactical, you want to be using flipped, which flips your triggers to your bumpers, meaning you will now start aiming and shooting with the bumpers instead of throwing grenades with them. This sounds like a minor thing, but this means you can click in the buttons milliseconds faster every single time you press them, which can be the difference between winning and losing a gunfight, and who knows, even the whole game. These settings will take a little while getting used to, but it's so worth it in the long term. If you also want to see clearer and improve your graphics on Warzone, be sure to check this video out now. See ya!